Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I wanted to show you how to deploy a Docker Hub hosted Docker container over to the Amazon Elastic Container Service. So I've logged into my Amazon con console. I've got my Elastic Container Service. You can upload a repository to AWS, but to be honest with you, I actually found that fairly difficult to do in terms of getting all of the security tokens right. But I've actually got a Docker image for this Spring Boot microservice application that I produced hosted over on DockerHub.com. You can see it right there. And the name of the Docker image is PL-RPS Service. It stands for Rock, Paper, Scissors. And you can see we've got a little bit of information here that says, you know, you can use this to pull it. Now, I'm not going to use that to pull it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Amazon AWS Elastic Container Service and I'm going to create a new task definition. And in this task definition, I'm going to make it a Fargate definition. I'm going to call it my RPS task. I'll make the task rule none. I'm just going to maybe throw in, I'll throw in a gig of memory there and maybe a, a virtual CPU, half a CPU, this looks like what it's going to be more agreeable to. And then finally, I'm going to specify the container. And here as I specify the container, I'll call it the RPS image on Docker Hub. Okay, so that makes it pretty obvious what it is. And it's right here, I actually just linked to the Docker Hub image. Now, uh, before we saw it linked to jguevara slash plrps service, all I have to do is put in docker.io, and that should be my get it a jail free card for not having any problems in terms of allowing AWS to download that image. I don't know, would we want a hard limit of 512 for the memory? That looks fine. For the port mappings, I'm going to add 80 and also 8080. Those are the two port mappings my application needs. And then I think at that point, I am good to go. So I'll click Add. I will click Create. I'm not going to add any volumes or anything like that. So that's my task created. And now with this task, I want to actually run that on a cluster. So it looks like I'm going to need to create a cluster. I'll create a Fargate cluster. Call it my AWS Fargate cluster. I don't need a VPC for that. The cluster is created. And now what I want to do is I actually want to run that task that's associated with my Docker Hub hosted container. So I'm going to click Run New Task. I'm going to run it on Fargate. It's the RPS task that I created earlier. It's going to run on the Fargate cluster. Task group, I'm not going to enter the cluster VPC. We'll accept that one. Throw it in the first subnet. Now, the other thing that I need to do is I need to edit the security group. So I need to make sure that people can actually get to it. So I'll uh, do we have a security group to create. Well, I'll create a new security group. So I'll create an all access security group. And for that, I'll allow all TCP. And I mean, I can really do overkill here by saying I'm going to just allow all traffic all together. But I'll click Save there. That now associates this with my all access security group. I'm now going to click Run Task. And this task may actually take a, a moment to run. So you can see that it's currently provisioning. I'll do a little refresh here. It's gone from provisioning to pending. And right now it's going to be downloading my Docker image from Docker Hub. So I would imagine that this is just going to take a minute for this to, to get up and running. Oh, wow, look at that. It actually looks like it pulled it in fairly quickly. Uh, I'm not convinced that it's all running, so I'm going to click on the task right here. Well, it says that it's running. It even says that I have a public IP address. I still don't believe it, so I'm going to click on the logs. And when I click on the logs, if I see some indication that my Spring Boot application is running, 
And that's that there that ends up doing a little display for spring. Uh, well, it looks like everything is running. The Rishambo web application is out there running in the cloud. So I'm going to go back to my cluster. I'm going to take a look at this task. It says that it's running on this public IP address. Okay, well, let's go see how well this runs. I'll go to port 8080 on the public IP and look at this. I get my rock, paper, scissors application. Let's see if it works. Okay, if I select rock, it's a tie. If it's paper, I win. If it's scissors, it's a loss. And you know what? That's all there is to it. So there you go. That's how easy it is to take a Docker Hub hosted Docker container, move it over to AWS, and host it on a, a Fargate cluster. Pretty amazing stuff.